Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be telling you how to unlock the metal detector and thus starting the Buried Stashes daily collectible here in Grand Theft Auto Online. So as far as Rockstar's treasure hunts go, this one is actually pretty easy to start. It doesn't require anything to be done beforehand. You don't have to start the Cayo Perico heist before this is done. Essentially, what you're going to do is just go into a GTA online lobby. It can be invite only, friends, crew member, etc. And you're going to look for 10 locations on the map. I'll have them actually listed for you guys right here, so feel free to pause the video if you want in order to check out where these are located. They are essentially located all up and down the southern coastline and then in some of the little ports of bodies of water uh, in the city. So basically what you're going to do is you're just going to, and this is what I did personally, get yourself like an Oppressor Mark II or an easy vehicle that you can just drive around in. And you just want to go to these locations. There's 10 of them in total. And if you find the right spot, you're going to notice that there's a blue blip on the ground. And the blue blips on the ground is going to be a skeleton in shorts with a floral Hawaiian shirt, a backpack, a map of Cayo Perico, and then you guys can see there that there's also a metal detector that you can grab too. And upon going up to the body and the item, you can press right on the D-pad and you will be able to collect the metal detector. And then once you've done that, it should say buried stashes metal detector unlocked. And from there, you're good to go. You don't need to find any of the other 10 metal detector locations because in the top left hand corner, it'll say use the metal detector while on the island of Cayo Perico to help locate buried stashes each day to earn cash and RP. Now on their official Newswire page, Rockstar didn't give out a ton of details, so I'll kind of explain after what they say. They said, comb the beaches of Los Santos and find buried stashes on Cayo Perico. Stay frosty while combing the beaches of Los Santos. You might find a metal detector and a map leading to buried stashes on the island of Cayo Perico. Searching and finding these hidden hordes while scoping the island will reward you with money and RP. So they gave out a few details there, but they certainly didn't outline everything. Now your next step here, once you find the metal detector, is you're going to want to return to your Kosatka to either keep going on the Cayo Perico heist or end up starting a brand new heist because you can do this once per day while you're scoping out the island. So after that, you're gonna return to Cayo Perico and when you return to the island, you'll notice that there's gonna be a buried stash area. And in this buried stash area, you see sort of two translucent white circles. And what this is going to allow you to do is then use the metal detector in those areas. So when you're in those areas, you'll pull out the metal detector and you can basically use two things to help you. Number one, the sound you hear, it's going to get increasingly louder as you get closer. And number two, the bars on the actual metal detector device are gonna go more towards the sort of top of the pyramid and you'll get closer to the buried stash. Now, you'll also notice that the stash tends to be like this big marked thing on the ground. It's not necessarily buried. Like you can pretty much find it very easily. When you also get close enough to it, it'll also appear on your map and it will also tell you in the top right hand corner to dig up the buried stash. So it's not going to be a mystery when you actually get near it and when you get close to it, the game's not gonna make you just dig all over the map. You will eventually find out where it is and you'll be able to basically just dig it up. It's so easy to find, honestly. And this will get you $15,000 and then it'll say buried stash one of two or buried stash two of two. So you can do this twice per day, increasing your total of $30,000. And it's also considered one of your daily collectibles as well. So if you add it to the bunch, you essentially get $30,000 each day in GTA Online for completing these buried stashes. And I know that doesn't seem like much, but when you add that up to the rest of the goods that you collect on Cayo Perico and everything else that you do on a daily basis in Los Santos, it is going to increase the amount of money you make every single day. The only thing I didn't try was taking a picture of the metal detector and the skeleton with the backpack because there's actually a similar skeleton that can be found on Cayo Perico. And if you take a picture of that and send it to Pavel, he says, well, well, a guest at the last party, perhaps. Just think if we do not pull this off perfectly, 
we too will be found like this. With Pavel suggesting that this was a previous beach party guest who didn't follow the rules. And this is confirmed in overheard guard dialogue during the heist itself. So maybe you guys can try that out when you are doing this in your session and see if Pavel will send you a text message too. So it really is a simple and easy way to make money this week here in Grand Theft Auto Online, and it sort of continues the trend that Rockstar is doing with Cayo Perico as they continue to add more content to that, because we saw Rockstar actually introduce 10 new Cayo Perico races, where they said, take to the dirt roads, waterways, and skies of a tropical island paradise the new Cayo Perico series introduces 10 new races around El Rubio's fortified compound and the surrounding beaches. All racers competing in the new Cayo Perico series will earn two times money in RP all week long. So let's actually go ahead and check out those Cayo Perico races right now. So in order to find them, you just go to the GTA online menu, you go down to races, and then it starts with Cayo Perico. The first one is called Bike and Subscribe, which we know Rockstar is making fun of the whole like and subscribe craze. You've got Coast is Clear, Crash Course, Flyer Flyer, Get Blazed, Going Down, Going Up, Hard Dock Life, Hauling Gas, and Paradise One. Some of these are air races, some of these are sea races, some of them are a combination of air, land, and sea. Of the races that I've done so far, they're actually a lot of fun and they're very refreshing to obviously do it on a brand new location, Tropical Island of Cayo Perico. So I recommend you definitely check them out for yourself. They are a lot of fun. And again, right now, they're two times money in RP all week long. So if you're a really good racer, you can end up getting a ton of money from this when it's all said and done. And the only other thing surrounding Cayo Perico this week that Rockstar is doing is they're actually giving away a free t-shirt. If you log in and play, you'll get the Kind Music Cayo Perico tee at no cost. So you get a little bit of a souvenir for playing GTA Online anytime this week. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Let me know what you think about the brand new metal detector and the buried stashes, as well as the new Cayo Perico races that they just added. Do you think this is a nice addition to the game, a boring addition to the game? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.